Okay, so let's look at uh, question number nine. So what we have is a very similar question to eight in which we have two um, shapes that are stacked together and we are trying to figure out now um, something very similar. We're going to have to calculate what the outside angle would be, but in addition to that, that, that third shape um, is actually going to be a polygon that fits inside of it because it, it's like a tile and we're asked to actually calculate then how many sides that would have. So let's just start um, breaking this thing down and we'll draw a diagram to, uh, to show this. So we're designing a tile pattern that has um, two primary shapes which are going to form the outside. And then that leaves what would be left on in the inside is another shape. So what we'll do is let's start by looking at um, drawing the shape here. So let's do a quick sketch. We know we're going to do a pentagon and a square. So a square is really easy. We'll just draw four sides trying to make them roughly equal the same and what we're doing is we're stacking a pentagon on top of that so if I draw the pentagon it's going to be five sides okay and it's going to look like this now the idea is that all of these sides would have to be the same because in a tile pattern um, each edge has to be able to lock in with another edge. So if you think about how we would extend this, the, um, there would be another um, pentagon off the bottom. Okay, and again, the sides would have to be the same, so this isn't quite drawn to scale. And then off each of the pentagon sides, like so this one coming off here, we would have a square. Okay, and then we would add another pentagon on top of that. So what we get is we get essentially almost like a circular pattern um, where the tile is being formed. Now what we're asked to look at here is if you think about what, what we've got, let me change color here. This is forming a shape where we have essentially sides of an inside, um, an inside shape here. So I'm going to mark this here as an inside shape. Okay, and notice that each, this shape is going to be composed of a number of different sides as the pattern builds itself out. So what we're being asked to find here is how many sides does this shape have? How many sides in this inside shape? Okay, so we could start to count them. Okay, we have one side here, two sides here, three sides here, four sides here, and we would keep going all around. So if we could draw the, 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 the full tile accurately, we would be able to count the number of sides on this inside shape. But there's probably another way we could do it, and we can calculate it mathematically. So again, if we take a look at what we have here, I'm going to look at the dot here. We have an inside angle here and we have an inside angle here. But then we have off of those two shapes, I'm gonna extend the, the dotted line again like I did before, we have two outside angles. Actually, this one will be different. We don't really know what that one is. It should be 90, I guess. Um, but we will have two outside angles here. So I'm gonna put that in uh, a different color here. I'll do pink. Okay, this one here and this one here to mark it a little bit differently there. Um, so this is an outside angle. And this is another outside angle. Okay, so we have an outside angle against the square. Um, and then we have an outside angle against the, the, the pentagon. So what would be the value of those angles? Well, we know this is a five-sided shape here, and this is a four-sided shape. So the outside angle for the pentagon is equal to 360 degrees divided by five, which is equal to 72 degrees. And then here the outside angle is going to be 360 degrees divided by four, which is going to be equal to 90 degrees. So together, those angles, together are going to equal 72 plus 90 which is equal to the value of that outside angle which is 162 degrees 
Okay, so that, that gives us one um, piece of this puzzle here. But now what we're really asked to find though is how many shapes, or sorry, how many sides does that shape have? Well, we can calculate that because there's another formula. Those, that inside, sorry, that outside angle of 162 degrees is actually the inside angle of the shape that is made up in the inside. So that would be our green part, okay? What is that inside shape? So we know that the interior angles of a, of a, a polygon Okay, is equal to a different formula. It's equal to n divided minus 2 times 180 all over n. So if we know what that interior angle is, then we could substitute and calculate what that, what that value should be. So our interior angle is going to be equal to that outside angle. So it's 162. And that's equal to n minus 2 times 180 all over n. So our solution here is that we just need to solve for n. So a little bit more complicated than the previous question, but if we work this through, we'll cross multiply. So this is going to be 162n is equal to 180n minus 360. Okay, and then we collect n's on each side. So we're going to subtract 180n on both sides. That's going to give us negative 18n, which is equal to negative 360. And then we have to divide by negative 18, which is going to produce a value of 20. This is equal to the number of sides in the, in, in the inside polygon or tile. Okay. So 20 is the shape, the inside shape is going to have 20 sides. If we stack all those pentagons and squares together and we um, put them into a, and tile them out into a circle, okay, or into what is going to look like a circle, the inside shape is going to have 20 sides and each angle, um, which is an angle of the inside shape will be, uh, would be 162 degrees. And from that, we could calculate the number of sides. Okay, so hopefully that um, explains it. This is a bit of a tougher question. That's why it's one of the, the ending ones. But we're basically <clears throat> switching from inside angles to outside angles. But then that outside angle is part of another polygon shape itself. So we can, we're using the math to move back and forth in order to calculate something where it would be very, very difficult to draw out to scale. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions, just send me an email.